memorable stories or good memories you have from, from that time? Well, it, you know, uh, when we went to the, one of our, uh, well, let me do some humorous ones. So the first place we went was Toboga, which was the Hagnauer and the Hagnauer properties in Guanacaste. And um, so we went out on the Rio Toboga and one of the first thing, one of the first field problems that we did, we were gonna mist net some bats. So we set up a mist net on a creek bottom and I helped get it set up and we were just finishing and here comes a cow. And oh hell, here comes the cow. It's gonna hit it right for the mist net. So I'd worked with cows all my life. So I said, okay, let's, let's get this old cow out of the way. So I said, all right, let's spread out and charge it and run it back the other way. So we got up front and we started charging the cow and it, it must have had a calf on the other side of the mist net because this thing just runs through the line and goes right through the mist net. We never saw the mist net again. Anyway, so we caught a cow, but we didn't catch the mist net. <laughs> uh, when we, um, then we flew into the uh, Osa, and at that time, of course, there were no roads. Uh, it was almost totally forested, except for, I guess at that point in 66, they were just beginning to clear the Corcovado area. Uh, but that was a real mystery on the other side of the mountains to us. And uh, so we were in a, flew into the uh, uh, Osa Productus Forestalis site, and Hull Ridge and, and those guys had a field station there um, that the Tropical Science Center operated in the forestry sector. And so it was a very small building and so forth. And I have a, actually a picture of Dan Jansen sweeping the, the stairway of that building after, as we were packing up to leave. Um, so I haven't had a chance to get him back for pictures he shows me, but anyway. Um, but the courses at that time, there was no thought of there's a limitation on primary forest or that we have to worry about organisms that we kill or whatever. And so we had this term that we call otzing the forest, which is the, you'd have a field problem group and they'd say, okay, we're gonna take um, you know, a, an eighth of a hectare or whatever it is, and we're gonna get rakes and we're gonna rake up all the litter, put it in bags and kill everything and then count all the stuff. You know, how many terciopalas do we have? How many lizards, how many this, how many that? And so that was sort of a standard thing. And Jansen was running sweep net projects where he'd sweep up 20,000 insects as he tends to do. And, uh, and then we'd try to make sense of the patterns. So instead of parataxonomists, he had OTS students uh, doing these massive data collecting things. Um, one thing that one thing I really remember is that there was a field problem on uh, vine ecology, and the idea was how fast did vines transpire? And so we would get a five-gallon bucket full of water. Somebody would walk up to a liana this big, go whack, and we'd stick it in the bucket and see how fast it sucks the water out. It's damn fast. And then we okay, we wrote down the data, but we just killed a liana that will never recover, you know, because it's now down trying to root back in the shadows.